Hello everyone. This video is about 10 advanced Figma tips and tricks. So in this video, we will get to know some amazing Figma tips and tricks, which every designer should know. So make sure to watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any tip of this video. So let's begin. Figma tip number one is ignore auto layout. This is simply a screen. So this is an auto layout frame here. If I want to put this icon in this frame, so it will place here or here or here according to the auto layout route. But I don't want to put this in this frame according to auto layout. I want to put this randomly where I want, like in this card or in this card here. So so select the element you want to place and press uh, control key on your mac and uh, you can see here is some pointer it means you can place it here yeah just like this or if you want this to here between this particular this card let me show you select this icon and press control key on your mac and drag it here uh, so it went uh, behind this card so we can we can get this back uh, where is it yeah this is icon so I can bring it here on the top okay so this is done now moving on second tip of today which is select text from group so if i want to select this name here text so i have to press press on this uh, frame first then again double click so that we can select nested element again double click so that uh, we can go to nested element again so here we are at name here but uh, i want to go to directly on this text what should i do press command key on your mac and si simply click here you can see if i want to select this text press command key and click on this you can see if you want to select this text press uh, shift key while holding command and now you can select this otherwise if you are not doing you have to double click again and again to select the nested elements moving on to next figma tip which is upload multiple images or bulk image here are three circles you can see I want to put the images in these circles so instead of uh, filling images one by one on these circles I want to put uh, all of it at once so there are so many plugins for it to like content feel most of you people already know about it so I'm not going to use that plugin I will do this manually simply press command shift and K on your Mac and the pop-up will open where your images are already so while holding shift i will select all these three images and click open now you can see at cursor point there are three images i'm holding so i will click on the first second and third cool you can see all the three images are in the circles now moving on to next tip of the figma which is multi-edit text so here are three screens which uh, i want to edit some text to so i will go to here with pro and i will select these three text and i want to change the text to all at once so go to right hand side and you can see here an icon this is multi-edit text so click on this icon and you can write what you want like witness O or get fit all right 
this is uh, useful when we are creating any app uh, which have so many screens and we want to change the text all at once which is similar so we can use this feature moving on to next to figma tip which is built in calculator here we have a rectangle of a particular dimension uh, if i want to increase the length or height of this uh, rectangle so instead of doing this like i'm not uh, dragging it i want to do some calculation here go to width and uh, press plus for addition and give any number what you want like 56 and it will increase the width same with the height and uh, if you want to remove some if you want to reduce some height let's see minus 100 pixels so you can see this is done this is not limited to, to addition and subtraction only we can do multiplication division and more complex calculation also so next tip is multiple fields in figma here we have an image and our text this text is not very visible here because of the image so what we will do is select the image and add a fill from here and you can change the opacity from here what you want and uh, give it a gradient color like this and drag it down you can see now it is visible let me compare it so this was before and this is after moving on to next feature which is arc tool arc tool is a great tool for creating and manipulating curves and uh, circles in figma when you hover over the circle a single handle will appear on the right hand side this point determines where you can begin click and drag the arc handle up and down to change the sweep this create a gap in the circle now there there will be three dots here which is three handle shown this one is ratio handle at the center of the circle allows you to change the circle to a ring the start handle indicate where the arc begins the sweep indicates how complete the circle is figma tip number eight small and big nuts amount by default in figma it is set to when you want to move any element it move by one pixel one pixel and if you hold shift e it will move by 10 pixel but what if you want to move it by 0.1 pixel or 0.5 pixel so for this we can do go to left hand side and go to preferences and here is the nuz amount you can set here small nuz and big nuz so i am doing small nuz is 0.1 and big nuz is 5 so now select this and you can see now i am moving small you can see it is moving by 0.1 pixel and if uh, I'm holding safety and then moving, it is moving by five pixels. I hope you are getting to know so many new things here. Moving on, next tip of the Figma is delete and heal. Here you can see this is a star. If we hit enter key, you can see there are so many pointers. If I want to remove this point, if I delete this directly, it will remove the path and it is uh, disconnected now so not i'm not going to do that simply select this and while holding shift press delete you can see the point is not here it is ha it has been deleted and also figma is the path also let's see here hit enter and there are so many pointers i want to delete these three pointers so while holding shift I will press delete. You can see pointers are gone and 
Pigma is the path already. So next tip of the day is inward selection. Here we have a design of dashboard. In this frame, there are four cards. I want to leave this first one and select these three. So select this first one. And uh, press Command Shift A. And you can see all the three are selected except this first one. So this is inward selection feature of the Figma. So last but not the least feature of the Figma. Uh, this is uh, truncate your text. So you can see there are five five paragraphs here and each have three dots at the end. It is showing like uh, there are more text to, to read here. If we reduce the frame, you can see it is erasing the text, but the three dots are visible continuously. And uh, all these paragraphs have the same property. So how to do that? Select this text and go to typography. You can see here setting icon and uh, go to below here truncate text. It is selected for truncate. If we select this, you can see all text are visible here. Sometimes we design website or anything. So we have to put the linked text there. We cannot put all of the text at once. So we use the truncate text feature. I have used this feature for all the paragraphs here. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment which feature you knew already and which not. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.